Now we just derived uh, the maximum likelihood principles and gained some first intuition. Now let's move towards a more machine learning uh, setting where we want to come up with a predictive model given a particular data set. What we're dealing with now is data that consists of input output pair, input output pairs or input target pairs. And we denote this with X uh, boldface T. Now we assume that our data is uh, generated via the following model. So we assume that there exists some direct relation between X and the target values T, um, which is modeled by some model parameters W. Uh, but what we actually measure is, um, well, this true behavior plus some measurement noise. And this measurement noise will be assumed to be a normal distributed uh, with variance one, and we scale it with sigma. So actually the noise is assumed to be, uh, to have variance uh, defined by sigma squared. Okay, so this on the right hand side is what the data looks like. We have all these input output pairs. We assume that these are generated from this true relation given by the red curve. And this is what we want to recover, uh, but we measure noise. So we see that the data points are centered around this red curve. So we can think of the data of as a, a random variable with some uh, probability distribution where the probability reflects the uncertainty in the data related to this measurement noise. Um, we're also going to define a so-called precision parameter. This is called precision and it is defined, defined as the inverse of the variance, right? If I have a large variance, then I have small precision. If my variance is small, then I have a high precision. Okay, so with this in place, we're going to model uh, the target distribution. So we're going to model the probabilities of these target values with a normal distribution with respect to the random variable T, which is centered around what we model to be the true target values. and which has some uh, uncertainty, some variance to it. Okay, so this is going to be our model for the predictive distribution. And then we're going to maximize the likelihood of the data uh, given my model parameters. So this means uh, we have some uh, model parameters, these Ws and this precision uh, beta. So I could, for example, construct a model, a probability distribution over here but if I check for the data points, well, the probability of this data being generated by this model is close to zero. So this is probably not a very good, good model. I could decide to um, place the model right over the, over the mean, but with a very large variance. So that means, uh, yeah, my, my, the likelihood is increased because now these, these data points, they indeed have a higher probability, but still, um, the distribution is a bit flat. So I also consider also assign probabilities to all these points that I never encounter. So this will give us a reasonable likelihood, uh, but it's probably not uh, that accurate. Okay, so now I can choose my, my model parameters as to optimize the likelihood. And I hope that I recover the true uh, underlying uh, data distribution. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to optimize the log likelihood and the log of the likelihood and uh, the log of this normal distribution or Gaussian distribution is given in the following way. We derived this before. So it consists of this quadratic term and this was the front factor in front of this uh, exponential. Okay, so in machine learning, we typically talk about minimizing some error functions. So we're going to minimize the negative log likelihood res with respect to the model parameters W and precision beta. Now this error function consists of this quadratic term in which I'm going to find uh, the values for W that best model the true behavior. So which best map each input pair to the corresponding output pair. So this is a regression problem where we want to minimize uh, the mean squared error. And these terms uh, come from the front factor where particularly this term still depends on our precision parameter. This is one of our model parameters. Now we have methods to actually compute uh, the optimal value for W, which minimizes this mean squared error function, right? Because the rest doesn't depend on W. So the optimal maximum likelihood uh, parameter for W is given by the minimization of this uh, mean squared error. 
Now the beta term pops up over here and over here. Now remember that this error function is optimized when uh, the derivative with respect to that parameter that you optimize over is set to zero. So um, let's quickly do that for the beta parameter. So the derivative of this thing is given by a half and then the sum of my model, the square distance to ti. The derivative of this log is given by uh, minus n over two beta one inverse, and this has to equal uh, to zero. So if we multiply everything with uh, minus two over n and move this to the other side, we actually obtain that the maximum likelihood solution for beta or for the variance is given by uh, this thing. And this looks a lot like uh, the sample variance. So given our modeling choices, so we chose to model the data with a Gaussian distribution, we are able to obtain maximum likely estimates uh, for this distribution that, uh, well, that optimizes the likelihood of the data uh, coming from a model with these parameters. Now this actually gives us a predictive distribution. Instead of for every point x0 just predicting one value, we actually have a distribution that assigns probability of the target being a particular value. So our predicted distribution is a Gaussian distribution over t with its mean given by my model, the maximum likelihood estimate of this model, and the precision given by the maximum likelihood estimate of the precision. So for every data point, I place uh, probabilities on all possible target values. Uh, now, if I want to give a point estimate, like I only want to return one uh, target value, the most probable target value, I could take the expected value over this uh, predictive distribution. And, that, and since this predictive distribution is a Gaussian, this expected value would give me simply this model y modeled by the maximum likelihood uh, parameters. So for this point prediction, I only need the maximum likelihood solution for W and the maximum likelihood solution to W was simply give, given by this least squares optimization problem.